Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ben Lichtenstein from TradersAudio.com, and I would like to welcome you to another edition of our Traders Tutorial. Uh, this is actually a Squawk Box tutorial in that we're going to be dis discussing a little bit about what the Squawk Box is in hopes to uh, benefit some of you traders out there who listen to the Squawk Box in determining what it is that you should be listening for, um, what some of the benefits are from Squawk, and actually just kind of defining what the Squawk Box is. So. Squawk Box is basically a live indicator coming to you from alongside the trading pit. It's myself or the broadcaster, um, depending on which product you're listening to, discussing up to the second market information. It's an attempt to help you understand how the market moves, how price activity develops, who are the pit traders, and who the rest of us are in terms of listening and reacting to and when I say the rest of us I mean traders and people that are receiving this information um, a lot of the information that you're hearing is based on economic reports news um, price levels uh, it, it's determined by whether or not the traders are very aggressive or whether they're accumulating aggressive positions or just the certain styles of trading uh, that one local may have very similar to like my number one local that I like to refer to. He has a very specific style of trading, uh, tends to be very, likes to be very short in the market. Um, one of the traders recently, I was joking around talking about this guy a little bit in terms of his position and he said to me, the longest he has ever been or the largest long position he's ever had is short 20. So you may need to listen to that again to actually understand what it's saying, but basically it's saying that this guy is very rarely, if ever, long, and, and that's definitely the case. So it is a to-the-minute kind of experience on what we're seeing in the pit. Squawk Box Audio is very factual commentary, which provides you, um, you know, a, a different perspective on the markets. It, it's not a way that you learn and experiencing uh, lagging charts or uh, other, some of the other visual um, tools that are out there for traders to experience. This is a way to experience the live kind of heartbeat of the market, um, the very human aspect that's involved in the market. We're talking about buyers and sellers as they're entering the pit um, and the response to those buyers and sellers that the locals have. So the locals respond to the buyers in a different way depending if they're short or if they're long and locals will respond to the sellers in a different way if they're long or short as well. Most often when locals are long and a buyer comes into the pit they'll actually try or allow that long or that buyer come in and try and bid the market higher because when the locals are long really what they want is for the market to go higher so that they can actually sell it at a better price. But Again, it's a little bit different every time, and that's one of the most unique things about the Squawk Box is that it's similar to dealing with different people uh, and at different times during the day, you're dealing with different market conditions all throughout the day. And one of the real responsibilities of the listener is to interpret all that information and kind of assemble a bigger picture based on the smaller pieces that the, um, you know, that the broadcaster has been providing you. So you know, need to take kind of some of the building blocks, put them all together in order to develop the structure. Or as I like to say, take all of the pieces of the puzzle and put them all together in order to kind of get the bigger picture. Um, and this is one of the most important things that I stress about the Squawk Box is that while there's all kinds of information that we can provide the listener in terms of the very specific details that are um, defining market circumstances, defining market price, defining market value, it, it's really just that. It, we're giving you very specific details and all those details need to be put together in order to, in order to formulate a bigger picture type situation where you can take all that information and use it based on or to establish a, um, a, a educated trading decision I always say and um, you know one of the things that is very easy in our job and what we do is that it's all factual commentary that we're providing so we're talking about only what we're seeing sometimes that that we extend that a little bit into the human nature side of things in terms of how we're seeing people respond to things um, or market conditions um, you know people biting on their fingernails or people kind of scratching their head in a certain way that they do or holding their cards or holding their own personal body in certain ways um, you know arms crossed in front of them uh, and kind of holding very tense or in a very relaxed type mode um, when very little is going on. So 
Um, you know, obviously, as pressure builds, um, similar to you at home as a trader, as a screen trader, when pressure builds, you have certain uh, kind of things that you do that are used in terms of response to that pressure um, and coping behavior, if you will, that you use to um, to establish yourself, and that that really is the composite of who you are. Um, and it's very easy to sort of kind of look past that and try and focus on some of the other things that are at play, but, but that's really what makes up the market is all of the people that are contributing to the market at that given point, uh, whether they're trading or not trading, as a good friend of mine, Tom Alexander, always says that not trading is trading, but um, the, the trade, the activity, the aggressiveness, or the lack thereof. Um, and the lack thereof part comes into play where I always say, like to say that sometimes the market follows the path of least resistance. Sometimes the market will rally due to lack of presence of sellers more so than the presence of a high energy buyer. Um, and that can happen and it, and it does quite frequently in fact that the market will follow that path of least resistance. One of the things that our listeners, Squawk Box, listen, Squawk Box listeners, get to get the advantage of is they actually get to know where the market is by hearing the volume and positions of other traders through the broadcast. So it's an advantage to be able to listen to this information, mainly because in, there's many times that I've heard from listeners, from our kind of diehards, if you will, is that it's easier to interpret this in an audio format and receive this information than need to be able to pick it out from the charts, as well as the amount of information that we can provide as Squawk Box broadcasters in terms of what the paper is doing is only obtainable through the chart through the audio format and not available on the chart you can't you never find out if it's Merrill Lynch a buyer or a seller by watching the buy chart but that's specifically what we're talking about when we talk about the um, the audio format or when we're talking about when we're talking about Squawk Box in the audio format you get to know where the market is and you get to hear the volume and the positions of other traders through the broadcast. This is a good point um, that I like to bring up is that when you know where the paper is buying or when the paper is buying or if you know when number one is selling, um, you don't know necessarily um, what the, the other's position is. And so it's really important to understand that, that there's only a certain amount of knowledge and there's only a certain amount of uh, um, decisions that can be based on knowing where one position where one person's position is or a couple people's positions are because the market is made up of, of many other contributing factors and and it's it's again a mistake to kind of isolate just where one is what's more important is to be able to isolate what's happening in response to that paper activity um, and what's happening in response to the paper as it comes in as a buyer. Um, it, it's important to understand who the traders are that influence the market and, and simply understand who the traders are that trade with them. Um, you know, again, it, it's important to understand that Merrill Lynch has a major influence on the market and understand that it's the biggest locals that are trading with them. So it's very important to be able to isolate who's responding, how they're responding, and who the initiating or the initiative type activity is being brought in by. Um, you know, again, is this initiative type activity coming in through the form of retail type paper or is it Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch um, and, and some of the other large clearing firms that we have, Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, uh, who I like to just kind of refer to as paper. Again, we get the point across that there's advantages by listening to the pit in, uh, versus and, and screen shading rather than just screen trading alone. Again, you unlock the audio capacity that your mind has to enable to interpret the information and then make trading decision based on the visuals that you're seeing or the confirmation on the charts. It's really important because you also get to interpret and know where the positions are or what the positions are of the locals. And the locals are the real sort of kind of backbone or the 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 middleman for the market um, they're really kind of the the they are one of the major developmental type things that help the market or slow the market down help the market continue in one direction again locals who are long and Merrill Lynch comes in a big buyer they're gonna help the market move in that direction to the upside most often if you have locals that are short and Merrill comes in a buyer they're gonna tend to provide resistance trying to keep the market from moving in that direction uh, um, as the buy side activity comes into play. So um, this is really important to understand and this is one of the major benefits that Squawk Box Audio provides to listeners is the, ab the ability to know positions of certain players at any given point 
and then be able to interpret how they're responding to the new contributing or the new influence in the market at any given point.